Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Joseph the Worker. The church has consistently taught, and it comes primarily based upon our first reading today from the book of Genesis, that there is a dignity in work. God is at work in creation. God sees the work that he does and he sees that it is good, has judged that what is done is good. And our work, we should be able to step back from the work that we do and we should be able to view it as good. The work that we have done is not just to achieve an outcome for a particular economic benefit, but there should be goodness in the work itself, goodness in what's been produced, that it actually serves the work of God. The church over the last 120, 130 years has reflected a lot about the importance of work, the importance of the worker. That workers should be kept safe within their workplace. That they should be paid a fair wage. That they should have an understanding of what they're doing that is actually contributing to something that is good. You go back into the, the late 19th century, the church started to, to write and um, talk quite um, enthusiastically about this. And the 1st of May in other parts of the world has become a, um, it was a day that became a sort of a big day to promote communism. And the churches, by placing St. Joseph the worker on the 1st of May, was not to promote a, a society that got rid of the role of the individual and placed it all on a collective um, community the church was there to, to, to recognise there is dignity in work there is dignity in the individual and we should help and look after the individual as well some parts of the world they're pre-COVID they were, they were, they'd have parades and other things on this day as a church we're called to think about the worker that the worker has dignity and that the worker is part of the divine work. That we're called to be co-creators. This is an incredible thing. What's happened over in recent times in this country, and we've seen it in other places as well, is that sometimes people get to retirement age and they think, oh, we stop working now. We're not getting paid, so we stop working. We sort of just enjoy our life. But every day we're called to contribute whether we see it as work or as a paid work or as a job, we're called to contribute to the work of creation every single day. And that's from the day we're born right up to the very day we leave this life. We're called to be contributing. And there is a dignity in that. When people sort of get to the stage where they're like, well, I've got nothing to contribute anymore, I think it's a very sad situation. I've heard sometimes our elderly who say to me, well, What's the point of living? I've, I'm, I'm, I'm not contributing anything. And I think this causes a problem with people's thinking about euthanasia. I think, well, why? It's not just that they're in pain. They think, well, why? What are they contributing? What's their worth? Our worth is not just because someone can pay us $50 an hour or whatever it is. It's the work that we are doing, which is the work of God. So today we think about not just people who are getting paid an hourly rate, we're all called to contribute on a daily basis. And I've seen, even in our own parish, sometimes those who are retired who still contribute. They keep their minds active, they're contributing to the work of God, and that keeps them healthy. And that's a great thing. So let us pray for all people that they will see that their daily contribution is not just whatever their hourly rate is, but it is a participation in the work of creation, the work of God. Let us pray for St. Joseph's intercession for all workers, for those who are looking for work, those who are unemployed at this time, for those who are at work, perhaps those who have retired and think they have no worth. Let us pray that they will all be inspired by St. Joseph to contribute to the great work of God in our world every day. St. Joseph the worker, Pray for us.